Now we want to show you how much scatter comes out of the patient when you're doing a cross table lateral hip. So we're set up, you can see that obviously it's not a real person so we can't have leg up in the air and all that kind of stuff like you would really would do. But we're set up uh, at enough angle like you would normally come in on and you can see that on the monitor we've already taken a bunch of exposures till we got this thing centered the way we want to center it up. I've been attacked for well over 35 years and it really wasn't until we kind of did this scene that I found out that I was wrong the whole time of where scatter's happening. I always figured x-rays coming out, hitting the patient, going through the patient, coming over here to your eye, and then, but you know, it's now scattered, so it's definitely bigger, and it's just creating this whole area out here where there's this radiation everywhere. What I discovered while we filmed this lesson was the exact opposite. Almost all of the scatter occurs on the tube side of the patient, which means the surgeon side of the table. Here we go with the ion chamber at 18 inches from midline of the phantom at the hips. We'll begin on the tech side of the table. Here we have the ion chamber at 60 degrees towards the feet at 18 inches. The SSE is 9.4 micro R and the spot exposure is 17.7 .7 micro R. Now we have the ion chamber at 90 degrees and the SSE is 6.7 micro R and the spot exposure 15.6 micro R. Here we have the ion chamber at 60 degrees towards the head and the SSE is 5.3 micro R and the spot exposure 12.8 micro R. Finally, we have the ion chamber at 45 degrees towards the head and the SSE is 4.0 micro R and the spot exposure is 11.9 micro R. Here we have the ion chamber on the surgeon's side of the table at 90 degrees at 18 inches and the SSE is 0.381 MR so we're talking millirankins now, not micro R's. And the spot exposure is 0.881 MR. Now we've moved the ion chamber up towards the head at 60 degrees. And the SSE is 0.417 MR. And the spot exposure is 0.969 MR. Now we've moved it down to 60 degrees towards the feet and the SSE is 0.273 MR and the spot exposure is 0.628 MR. Finally, we move the ion chamber to 45 degrees towards the feet and the SSE is 0.203 MR and the spot exposure is 0.468 MR. Here we've moved the ion chamber up towards the head to show you what kind of a dose the anesthesiologist might get at 42 inches away from midline hips. We're starting on the right side of the head and the SSE is 0.0 UR while the spot exposure was 4.9 UR. When we move the ion chamber to the left side of the head, both exposures were 0.0 UR. Here are the differences between the surgeon and the tech side of the table. All of the surgeon side readouts are now in micro R's, which are the UR's. 45 degrees to the head. Tech side 11.9, surgeon side 468. Surgeon side is getting 39 times more radiation. 60 degrees to the head. Tech side 12.8. Surgeon side 628, surgeon side getting 49 times more radiation. 90 degrees to the patient. Tech side 15.6, surgeon side 881, surgeon side getting 56 times more radiation. And finally, we have 60 degrees to the foot, tech side 17.7, surgeon side 969, surgeon side getting 54 times more radiation. So there is, again, the perfect proof of, you know, we're on the safe side, let's say, here as the tech. But everybody on that side, anybody who's on the side of the tube, it's hitting the patient and scattering back to where it came from. 
and it's truly coming back at a 90. So the most scatter is coming straight back from wherever the x-ray came from. This little bit of an angle, it's still, you know, there's a ton of scatter happening out there, as you saw. As the, you know, tech with the button, it's always, you know, the goal is make those exposures as short and sweet as possible, have everything lined up and everything as perfect as possible. Again, if you're able to collimate, do so, because everybody on that side is definitely getting a lot of scatter.